Hey and welcome back. So let's build out our company level objectives. So if we said that we had three objectives at Rocket Growth, we would then need to create three lists. And fortunately, Trello has already done that. So by default, we are given three lists and the list titles are to do, doing and done. So we need to add an objective title here and the title has to be quite short. So we have to essentially capture the essence of the objective in just a few words. Okay, let's add some objectives for rocket growth. So our first objective could be to research and improve customer satisfaction. So the title I'll use here is customer satisfaction. And now let's add some key results. So click on the card and let's update the title first. A first key result for this might be to improve our net promoter score. Now notice that both our objective title and our key results title do not really fit the criteria for a well-defined objective or key result in OKRs. So for example, the objective is not exactly inspiring and the key result shown here is not measurable, but that's okay because the details are stored within the card. So together, they should meet the criteria for a well-defined objective and key result. So let's go ahead and add more details. In description, Trello supports what's known as Markdown. And what that essentially means is that you can use these kind of special characters to format your description here. So if I were to do this and save that, you can see that it creates a line separator. So what I like to do for descriptions is to restate the objective for that key result. So I'll put a separator there and then type in the objective and the objective would be stated out fully which is to drive higher customer satisfaction across all channels. And when you save that, you've got a nice clean objective. And below that, we can then add the key results. So for the key result, I'm going to use hash, which lets me create a header. So I'll use two hashes and that creates an H2 header. And the key result will be to increase net promoter score from 60 to 80. And if this is a very ambitious goal, I can also in parenthesis indicate that this is a moonshot. And down below, I will add another separator and can attach documents. And you can add a link here or you can also attach something directly to the card from up here. So we can close out of that and create additional key results. So another key result might be to conduct 50 phone interviews with key customers. And we might also do things like get survey responses. So you get the idea. And then of course we have to create two more objectives here. But in the interest of time, I will hit fast forward. Okay, so we now have an example of a company OKR with three objectives set and within each of them three key results. Remember that the best practice is to aim for anywhere between three and five objectives. And next we will look at how to track the progress of an OKR using labels. And we'll also look at how to add team members and assign them to key results. See you soon. Mm -hmm.